Hello. So we're going to do another short tutorial on how to use a certain aspect of Unifrog and this week we're going to have a little look at the MOOCs tools available. So on your home page if you scroll down and then beneath the know-how library that I've already shown you a few things within, um, you've got the MOOC section here. So if we click start then the first thing is that it gives you a little explanation of what a MOOC is. So basically it's an online course that's aimed to give you a little bit of insight and into a particular subject area. Now, this is particularly useful for lots of different people, really. So you may be somebody who's quite set on what they would like to do after sixth form at the moment. Now, if that's the case, that's excellent, but I would definitely advise you to start to look into your subject area beyond the kind of realms of the classroom. Um, it's showing that you've explored your subject outside of what maybe you're studying at the moment. Um, and then that's especially important if actually you're current subjects don't um, directly link to what you're going to be studying later on. Okay, so if we don't offer that subject for A-level, then it's important to get an insight into that different subject that you'll be studying maybe for the first time um, if you go to university to do it. Um, another thing is though, if you're not that decided, then it's a great way to weigh up or consider a few different subjects. So maybe you haven't got a clue what you want to do at the moment. You can just consider a few of them and look into a few of them. Maybe you've got a bit of a short list, like you'd quite like to do that subject because you really enjoy it. But then you're also interested in that subject because you think you'd like a career in it, etc. Um, it's a good chance to explore a few of them and then weigh them up side by side. Um, and then hopefully you'll get an idea of which one you enjoy learning about more, which one you're more interested in, which one you feel is more relevant to you, and get a feel really for the subject. Um, so if we click next there, it'll take us to our topic choices. So you can just type something very specific in there, okay? Um, or there's a big list then down here with 56 main kind of overview topics that you can click on. So I'm just going to use this just for the purpose of the tutorial, but you can click something into there and try that out as well. And I'm gonna click down and I might be thinking, right, well, I'm currently taking English Literature A level at the moment. I'm really enjoying that. So I'm gonna click on that because that's something I'd quite like to explore university. Um, but careers wise, I can see myself maybe studying English and then wanting to come out of it, doing something to do with marketing and communication. And I know that they cover marketing and communication in some of the language courses and the joint Langlet courses you can apply for university. Um, but saying that, I do also really enjoy history level and I know that um, history is usually within the same humanity schools and that you can do joint honours between history and literature or history and language. Um, so I'm gonna keep that in the background as well because I'm interested in all three of these. And they could flick through the others, consider whether you wanna put any of those on the list and then if you're happy with just those three or you want to choose one or two more, then you can click next. So this now is going to bring me onto a huge page with loads and loads of different MOOCs that are available. They're all organized by different universities and you can see the variety um, of the ones that obviously you've got all of the topics of the courses in blue. And then underneath that, directly underneath that, then you've got the name of the institution that's put together um, this MOOC. And then you've got a bit more information then in terms of the workload or the time frame, etc. Okay, so we've got Michigan State University, we've got the University of Boston, we've got universities in Iceland. Okay, you scroll down and you can see all of the different, there are UK ones as well. So we've got Reading and Sheffield that are putting ones on. Um, and Southampton, but there's quite a lot of US universities and international ones as well. I spotted on your earlier um, Tokyo University, which is quite interesting. So there's loads and loads of them. Now, by all means, feel free to scroll through all of those there, but as you can see, um, you know, there's way over 200, which might be a few too many to look through. So if you want to, you can filter them as well. Um, I think most of them are pretty much in English, but you could filter them by English to make sure. And um, you can also decide the kind of platform that they're coming through, but I haven't really got a preference here, so I'm going to leave that as it is. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to set my level to introductory because I don't want to go into anything too complex here. I just want a bit of a basic insight into a particular area. And that then cuts down my options a lot more. 
The MOOCs are all organized into three key areas. So the first column starting soon are kind of almost live ones, if you will, that are starting in a, in a particular time frame. The on-demand ones can be accessed at any time. So they may have been produced a while ago, but you can start them today, you can start them next week, etc. And then there's also a column for ones that have already started, but that you can tap into a little bit later. Okay, so I'm maybe going to be looking at these on-demand ones because maybe I can't um, commit to a certain time per week or whatever, but I'm just going to tick away at it in my own time. If you wanted to, you could also rank them by particular things. So you can rank them by workload, by duration, by start date, and you could also rank them by the university that's offering them as well. I'm going to leave that blank for the moment, but if, for instance, you wanted to um, filter by duration, then you could look at the ones that are just going to take you a week, down to four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, nine weeks, and so on. Okay, and that might be useful if you just want a really quick little taste of something or whether you want to explore something for a little bit further. Okay, and again, you can just simply scroll down this list and have a look. Or you could use the keyword to look for something. So say, as part of the literature um, course that I think you want to study, I've really enjoyed Shakespeare at GCSE and I'm looking forward to studying that, you know, this next year as well for your third dean. So I could type in Shakespeare and there's four courses available look on Shakespeare. So Shakespeare's life and work and I might think, oh, well, that would be quite useful actually to get some context on that ready for my year 13 studies. And oh, funnily enough, for my literature A-level, we're doing Othello, so maybe a little bit of background into Othello would help as well. Okay, you could take away then your search and have a look at everything else. And then I might scroll down and, oh, let's have a look. And say, oh, it'd be nice to have an introduction to marketing as well, to have a little look into that side. And also going to have a little look at, oh, this one actually, Marketing Fundamentals, who is your customer? That sounds quite interesting. And I'll also have a little look at this one on the Civil War as well. So I've selected five then. Five is a kind of general good number to go for because you don't want too many. Okay. Now, these are all listed here so you can check them. Okay. They give you a bit of information again on what university has created it, how long it's going to take to complete, um, whether there's any option for um, certification with it, etc. And there's a bit of a course summary, etc. For all of them, don't be alarmed, there's a little section called price information, but basically all of them are free, but some of them offer you the option to pay for a certificate at the end of it, which obviously you don't need to do. It's, a, it's about the learning, that's what's important. So you just don't opt for the certificate. And then if you're happy with your options there, then you just click save. Now, what happens there is that emails you shortlist, you've got access to that, okay? So you can download it directly here if you want to. It also gives you a bit of guidance on things you may wanna think about before you apply to get the most out of the MOOC. Um, and you can ask it to email that to you as well if you want that at the top of your inbox. Um, but what I'm going to show you, because you can just click on it straight there, if then you're busy, you've got to come out there and you want to go back to it another time, this is just simply how you access those MOOCs later. So when you come back to your homepage now, it now says you have one shortlist because you can add multiple shortlists. You can look into a completely different area next time or a couple of weeks on. And you just need to click on View Shortlist. It'll show you the ones that you've opted for and the universities that have created them. And then you just need to click open. And then on this PDF that opens here then, again, it gives you your topic, it gives you your main info and there's a page for each of them. And then whatever one you would like to do, then at the top, there's an option to get started. So you click on that. And then that will take you through to the course in order to enroll on there. And there's a bit more information on there before you do so. You click enroll and then all the instructions will be on there. Okay. The other good thing here as well is that there's a forward button. So say maybe there's somebody in your English or in your history class and you think they might be really interested in learning about the Civil War or learning about Shakespeare's life and work. You can forward that to them and share some of the great MOOCs that you found. 
um, which I'm sure you know you would really appreciate if somebody did that for you as well. Okay, so that's the MOOCs. You can come back out of there then. And in the future, you can start other MOOC searches and you can even have different shortlists on wholly different subjects, really, and you can compile them all there. Okay, so MOOC's a great idea for if you want to learn a little bit more about the subject, if you want to think about whether something is or isn't for you, for your next kind of stage of study, um, and just a chance really to just engage with some extra learning um, for when you want to do that as well. Okay, hope that's helped, and if there's any questions, then obviously just email me.